Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be going over the card State of Calmness Weiss. Now I did not want to let this card go uh, untalked about or not talked about. I do like to cover all of the smaller cards as well when they get new stuff. When they, once they get to SSR, I don't want to cover all the SRs, but once they get a Dokkan Awakening and go to SSR, it's kind of worth talking about. So uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about this card. Before we begin, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here. Help please show your support of the channel. I do talk about all the bigger cards. I do team building guides and linking guides. With this specifically, it's just going to be a linking guide just so we can talk about some of the units that he links best with. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So State of Calm this week. Uh, this guy isn't really too great as himself. He is summonable SR. He does have a farm farmable card that you can go and grab. Uh, it is going to be this Puzzle Wrapped in Enigma Weiss. He's available from the Hero Extermination Plan in Defiance of Heaven level 20. You can go ahead and farm him out there. Um, this is Evil Power Strike Back. So when you go to Evil Power Strike Back level 20, that's where you can get the power of Enigma Weiss. Uh, and you can increase the super attack if you want to, just in case you only pulled like one of them. I would recommend if you were not like, uh, if you didn't get lucky and pull a whole bunch of them, if you get up to five of them, they will. You can feed dupe system when you don't, when you don't awaken him. Very, very viable for that. He Doken Awakens with 7 Weiss Medals from uh, Battle of Gods event. You can get them either from the uh, Evil Power Strike Back event, which I don't really recommend doing, as a low drop rate. Um, or you go over here just to Battle of Gods event when it becomes available. It's going to be available from level 11, the best teacher in the universe. Weiss, get over, go ahead and do that. Get 7 of them to get Doken Awaken 1. If you want to do all 5 of them, you're going to have to get 35 of them. Isn't a big problem, but you're going to have to grind it out a lot, because it only drops like 1 to 2 medals at a time. If you're looking for it for the Hero Extermination Plan, that Weiss metal is going to be part of a larger drop on level 14, Strongest Under the Heavens. Uh, Weiss is available there, but you have every metal from that event is going to be there. So if you really want to not wait for it so you can actually use it, you're going to have to go to this level and hopefully get enough of them to Doken Awaken one of him. When he Doken Awakens, he becomes a pretty cool unit. Flexible Thinking Weiss. His new leader ability is Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. So for those of you who are new to the game for all the older events. For, this is a really awesome card for you to have for a physical team. He's Unbridled Physical Leader. Uh, key plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50% will make your uh, make your OG events a lot easier. And you can take on some of the 70% uh, events without a problem. You could possibly even go and take uh, on some of the 120 events. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't know. Don't do the 120 events. But you could use him as a leader if you don't have anyone else as a leader for like... Um, Anything that's going to be primarily intelligence on maybe a 120 event. Uh, at that point, you definitely want to bring a friend leader that has better better stats. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so like if you brought like a friend that is uh, the Gogeta, uh, LR Gogeta, something like that to take on a 120 lead, you should be able to handle it as long as you have some fusion. Um, super attack is prelude to, prelude to destruction, causes supreme damage uh, with a chance to stun the enemy. Uh, which is awesome, he does get Supreme Damage, Chance to Stun, which is really good. Elegant Style, Attack and Defense plus 40% when HP is 30% or above. Not really that great, it's really the only thing that you're going to really want him for, that fully recover HP when HP drops below 30% only once. Uh, events like Super Battle Road, this is very useful. The Puzzle Wrapped in Enigma Weiss is pretty much the unit that everyone brings on events like that. Any type of event that, that you can't bring items or event like Super Battle Road, that this passive of recovering HP is phenomenal. You really want to make sure you could utilize that uh, because you won't have to use items. Um, and if you do, if you do have items, you know you could conserve them if it goes off properly. Link skills are Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Brainiac, Rival Duo. Now, in terms of Link, he doesn't really have anything too phenomenal. I kind of wish they gave him Shocking Speed. Oh, he does have Shocking Speed. Never mind. Uh, so shattering the Limit. He's, he got a Doken Awakening, but it's all right. Uh, he's part of the only category he's part of is Realm of Gods, which would be cool because of the HP regeneration right there. Uh, max stats. Don't feed Dupe System into him if you want to. Maybe if he gets another Doken Awakening. If you want to go ahead and uh, get the Dupe Pads unlocked for it, but I wouldn't put orbs into him unless we know if he gets another TUR. Uh, HP is 10,515, attack is 7065, and defense is 2911. Really bad stats, really, really bad stats. Uh, 12 key multiplies 140%, chance to stun enemy is 25%. So you could go ahead, I, I recommend at least getting the super attack 10 and Doken Awakening, one of them. Uh, you don't need to put Dupe System into him. If at some point he gets another Doken Awakening, you might want to consider putting Dupe System into him. You never know. Uh, I mean, I honestly don't think it would be worth it. He might just get attack and defense plus like 60% or something like that with HP regeneration when HP is like maybe, I don't know, 30% twice. Who knows? Uh, that, I, we'd have to wait to see if he gets Doken Awakening. But he's, he's kind of worth it. He's definitely worth to look into. Uh, in terms of best linking buddies in game, Beerus. Beerus is just, every, all Beerus is. Uh, Beerus and Weiss, the LR Beerus and Weiss is going to be a good linking buddy as well. Best linking buddy in game is the Paiku Han. We're going to switch over to Dokkan Battle Builder view really quick. Uh, so over here, his best linking buddy is the Paiku Han. There we go. 
Uh, four link skills over here. He has Brainiac's Gentleman, Rival Duo, Shocking Speed. Not that bad. Um, that would be a 20% attack buff, a 10% a defense buff, four key and uh, enemy attack to enemies, defense minus 15%. Not bad. Uh, you do have all the Beerus's, obviously. So all the Beerus is pretty much going to do the same thing. Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Godly Power. Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Godly Power. And I'm pretty sure it's all the same, including the LR Beerus. Yes. So everything is not is really good with him. Shocking Speed, uh, Connoisseur, Godly Power, Attack Buff, HP Regeneration, and 2 Key. So obviously really not that bad. You definitely run them together. Thermal Realm of Gods, it's literally the same thing without the Paikuhan. Uh, I put all the Beeruses on the bottom. Uh, just there, there you see all them there. So it's pretty much those are all the same. Uh, but where you also have the three Godku cards over here, the Agility Godku, which is Shocking Speed, Godly Power, Strength is the same thing, and Intelligence is the same thing. Overall, not a bad unit. The only thing you're really going to be using him for is that HP regeneration. He's not there to do damage. You just want to be able to heal yourself. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, shorter video. It's not really a relevant card. Uh, I want to make sure I got it out there for you so that way you guys knew about him and uh, so I could talk a little about, about him a little bit. Uh, again, he's going to be viable for Super Battle Road uh, if you're lacking really good units. So if you don't have the LR Gogeta, he's going to be really good. Uh, so keep that in mind. But anyway, guys, thank you again for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you all later. Peace.